sky. Happy autumn, everyone. <laughs> For next autumn, you would need a hall double this size. Do you know why? Because all the Malayalis from Kerala are planning to come over to America as the bars in Kerala are closing. <laughs> They're even planning to rename our capital city Trivandrum to Trivand because there's no more Rome available there. <laughs> and Malabar would simply be Mala, no more bar. So next time you're in Red Chilies, simply order the Mala chicken biryani. <laughs> Closing bars is not only harmful for people who drink, it's also harmful for aspiring stand-up comedians like me too. We can no longer say jokes that start with a Malayali and a Sardaji walk into a bar. <laughs> but they can still walk into bars in California, so I can still use this one. A Malayali walks into a bar with a big, colorful parrot on his shoulder. The bartender says, Whoa, where did you get him from? And the parrot says, From the bar. There are a lot of these guys over there. <laughs> Once Shashi was going through the forest when he suddenly saw a tiger. The tiger roared and started running toward Shashi. Shashi ran. When Shashi would turn right, the tiger would turn right. When Shashi would turn left, the tiger would turn left. Finally, Shashi stopped, turned around, and showed the tiger a 1,000 rupee note. The tiger looked at Shashi in fear and then walked away. Inibara and the karnam. Tiger in a mansilai, shashi chiller karnala. Once my uncle went to meet his old friend who was a bit forgetful. He asked his friend, So, what did you do this weekend? And his friend said, Oh, we did some gardening, planted a few plants. Really? What kind of plants? Well, you know the one with the red flowers, the one with the thorns? You mean rose? Ah, oh, yes. Rose, what kind of plants did we plant yesterday? <laughs> Malayalis have a great sense of humor. They often express it in unlikely places. One is where they name their kids. My dad had a friend whose name was Aristotle Nair. He also knew someone who had three kids, Anish, Finish and finish. <laughs> but a common practice in Kerala is to combine parts of the father's and mother's name to make the kid's name. For example, Joseph and Bindu would name their son Joby. If Ramesh uncle and Bina and he had decided to name Rayo like that, she would have been called Rappe. <laughs> What if Americans also use the same practice? I have a friend whose father's name is Drew and mother's name is Rachel. So his name would have been <laughs> And whenever someone asked, where is your son? They would call <laughs> Oh, has he gone for a drive? No, he's here. <laughs> I wonder how his parents would get angry at him. How many times do I have to tell you to eat your vegetable? <laughs> it would even continue into his teenage years. How dare you take the car without my permission? <laughs> do you even know how to drive a car? And the kid goes, uh, <laughs> But I'm so glad that his mom didn't marry someone named Peter. Then his name would have been <laughs> And whenever someone said his name, everyone would go, Who was that? <laughs> and he would have to go, uh, that's me. <laughs> you can't see his name in elevators either. You call, Brrr, and everyone would go, oh man, not again. <laughs> and do you know what his favorite song would be? It would be, let it go, let it go. <laughs> I really can't pull that back. 